Hi everyone, welcome to the QAOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be creating our actual first functionality of the CLI. Right? And it's going to be a functionality that's going to check uh, to help you and check to set up the CLI itself and this can be very helpful on your daily life because most of the times the teams they're going to have a documentation either a wiki page or a google docs or, of some sort to tell the team members what they need to have installed in, in order to be able to start working right could be java could be python ruby uh, whatever it's necessary to have your project running in your machine and the cli can check if your computer already have those things and what is missing and even tell you how you can install a specific thing if there is a specific uh, a process of installing so it's any new person is going to be much easier just hey run this CLI install it and it's going to help you set up everything uh, without that person needing to have any other kind of help and if there is something missing that that person find that person is going to be already uh, triggered to add in the CLI. So this is what going to be working today. So if you haven't, subs you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. I'm also going to be posting the links for the previous videos so you can keep it up. And also uh, join my Telegram channel for you to have access to a specific content in the direct line with me, right? So let's start here. We have our BB-8 here. Uh, and what are we going to do is we're going to be adding a specific command to our BB-8, right? So we're going to be copying from the template because that's why I, I, I kept the template. So we can just copy and paste and I'm going to change the name to setup because we are going to be setting up the CLI. Right, and now I'm going to change uh, some of this stuff. But if we take a look here, BB-8 setup is already here. And now I'm going to say, um, help set up the BB-8 CLI. And the command is going to be check. And the description of the command uh, is going to be check if the BB-8 has been set up, right? And this is not going to be action, this is check. So I'm also going to change here for Incian. So it's going to display a specific color and you can see the color availability right here in the BB script right so i'm using cn for main actions and progresses so i'm going to say um, check if all necessary software has been installed so when i do bb setup the check is already there the BB has already the correct uh, explanation of the command and the check has already the message that I want to show the user, right? Cool. Awesome. So now what I would like to do is to actually check and what I'm going to be checking is Git, right? I need to have Git installed in this computer uh, or you have to have Git installed in this computer for you to be able to interact with whatever I'm going to create in the future, right? Because I'm going to enable you to download the repositories, to interact with some of the repositories. So I'm going to create a command called check if installed, and I'm going to pass a library, which in this case is Git. I'm going to create a function here called check if installed, Right? And I'm going to create a local variable called lib for library. And I'm going to receive the parameter of git here. Right? So the first parameter is one, two, 
three and so on and so forth, right? This is the same as this parameter here, but this one is receiving the parameter from the file. And this one is receiving from the function, but the way of receiving that parameter is the same. I'm also going to create a second parameter called help message. And I'm going to uh, attribute, and remember that the attribute needs to be glued together uh, with the variable and the value, otherwise it won't work. I'm going to receive the second parameter. However, that second parameter, I'm going to treat it as a default one because it's going to have a default value. And I'm going to use double columns and dash for the default value. And I'm going to, I forgot the attribute. And I'm going to say, please install it. So if there, is, if there isn't a second parameter here, it's just going to say, please install it. And this is because you might have a specific way of installing a software. So you, you, you could be even a wiki page, right? Install Git. Here is the wiki page of the details. Right? Cool. And now we need to check if Git is installed. But the first thing that we're going to check is, interesting is that there's a small functionality on the help message, but that can bring some issues. So there is a, a, a functionality here on the BB8 on the on the BB8 called debug. If I do dash dash debug, it needs to be in the beginning, right? It cannot be in the end. Let me check. It cannot be in the end. So the debug, as you can see, you can see it. Uh, it did not. It show a bunch of stuff in Magenta, the color that usually does not show for the user because that's the debug mode. So we are able to access that mode and put specific logs in there, which is amazing. Sorry, which is amazing. But it was not able to find the function that we created, and that's because in shell, unfortunately. If you are using a function, it needs to be that function needs to be defined before using it, before the actual use of it. So now it's not complaining anymore, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log the help message. So I, I'm going to use log, and I'm going to say the value help message. And I'm going to pass on the variable called help message. So now when I do the log command, I need to save. Sometimes IntelliJ is not saving shell. Here, debug the value help message, please install it. All right, so it's uh, it's already it already have the value, but it got the default value and it did not break the line, right? So another thing that I want to show you is that if I have another command called echo something, it's not breaking the line, right? So you have the check and have something. So it's my responsibility to tell it to break the line, which is slash n. And now it broke the line, right? And now I'm going to go back to my log. And you're going to see now that the log was properly uh, uh, logged. So, and if I send a different value here, new message, it got the new message. So I have a quick way of checking if some some stuff went wrong without having to uh, lose a lot of time. Cool. So now I need a way to check if my command actually worked. So I'm going to use a command called type dash a and give the library that I want to check. And it's the git library. The dash a is for all and it's going to check for all anything installed in a computer, not only on a specific folder, but anything. Right? So, all right, it means it founded that command. So I'm going to do Execute another command called echo dollar mark question mark. 
and it's going to display zero for something that it was found. It actually was able to execute that command. If I do type dash a uh, Raphael, which does not exist, echo question mark one, because the command did not execute successfully, right? So this, this gives me a way of executing, uh, of checking if some command exists. I have a alias called LL and it, the echo is going to display zero as well. So it's not only for something installed, it's for anything that your computer is able to execute. So I'm going to execute now the type command, right? So it, it needs to be executed before we evaluate. So I'm going to say type dash A and the lib that we got from the parameter, right? And you're going to see that it's complaining about something. Double quote to prevent globbing and word splitting. If you click here, it's going to even explain with examples. Right? But I'm going to explain to you what globbing mean. So what globbing means is, so I have an example here. In one of my repositories, I have these two Java files. And on shell, you don't have a lot of, you don't have uh, regular expression per se, you have globbing. And this is what you can do with globbing. So I, I can list, and I can list anything that has API. But that won't work because I need to also say what I expect afterwards. So I can say, I want anything that has API.java is going to work. I can say anything that has API, anything that also is going to work. Uh, I can say that have anything that has dot J asterisk is also going to work. Um, if I put B, now it's not going to work, right? Uh, I also can say, so let me create uh, some specific files. I can, I can use um, ls anything that has API dot and a extension with four correct characters. Doesn't matter which character, but it matters that has four. So I use question mark, one, two, three, four. And now it's going to work. If I use three, it's not going to work. So if I do touch file dot text and file dot text two, and now I do my same uh, listing is going to list uh, so let me remove it's going to list now the API so it, it's going to list now the file as well because the extension has four characters but it did not display the only text one so if I just put three question marks now it's going to ex to going to uh display only the one that has three characters as an extension so that's globbing another thing that i can do is i can remove the file and i can say hey i want to remove file asterisks anything that has that starts with file and now i don't have those two files anymore so this is globbing so it's important for us to prevent this because if i do this and it has asterisk or has any character that's going to be evaluated then it's going to do something that i don't want because i want to i want the actual value that i'm i'm saying uh, that i that i sent and not the globbing the result of the globbing so what do you do to prevent this you so i can show you this that's the same thing so let's say i have list this one so i put this between uh double quotes because now it's going to not understand because it's, it's not doing the globbing it's actually using the value the string value of this content so this is what we're going to do we're going to put uh double quotes between here and it's going to know that it should uh, it's going to put the value it's going to still to evaluate the variable because it's uh, uh, 
dollar mark in between curly bracket is going to understand that it needs to interpret the value of that variable and it's going to put inside a double quote which is not going to be globbed so awesome but now one thing that i don't want to do i don't want to print the content of the type i don't want this to be printed to the user because it doesn't really matter to for the user uh, the content of the type so what i'm going to do i'm going to ignore this value and i ignore this value by doing uh, this sign here and passing to the dev slash new so the command is still going to be executed but the the output of that command is going to be discarded so this is what we're going to do here let me just copy here and now he, the command is discarded but now i still can evaluate that command by executing this and if that command did not work you would print one right so now i can evaluate that command so i'm going to do if and in bash uh, you evaluate a condition between of the if between uh two square brackets and i'm going to say question mark here and i'm going to say if the question mark is not equal to zero meaning it did not work i'm going to do something and you can create you can do the if either by doing semicolons and the then or breaking the line without the semicolon and put in the then me personally i i prefer doing this way and now i'm going to say error lib is not installed in this machine i'm going to break the line and i'm going to print the help message whatever if it's the default or given uh given uh by the previous command i'm going to give an else and now if it worked i'm going to print in green and i'm going to say lib is installed and i'm going to close the if right so now when i execute bb setup check bad substitution amazing what did they do oh yeah so this is here git is installed if i just choose something else git2 git2 is not installed in this machine please install it if you have a specific uh, message that you'd like to send to the user so let's say everybody's using mac and using brew install it with brew install git and now when it does not work you still you're giving the hint to the user how the user can install git right it could be as again it could be a wiki a link to a wiki page but in this case uh my users you could be using linux could be using mac could be using whatever library you want to install so i'm not i'm just going to say install it uh, and this is going to be the message git is installed great and if it's not it's going to be this match uh it needs to save it's going to be this mess yeah it's correct it's the full message great cool so that's it we created our first command exciting uh that it's able to check if uh the computer was proper set up right so and anything that i that i'm going to require you to have in your computer i'm going to put in here so anything that you need to be to have installed i'm going to set up here and any new person or you can run this command and you're already, already going to know uh what is missing for you to have a proper experience experience using the cli so thank you for watching this far if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos 
Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And it's really important that you do. That's how the channel can keep growing. And subscribe to my Telegram channel so you have access to exclusive content and direct line, uh, direct access line to me. All right? See you soon.